You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. It's The John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Mr. Dan Ferris. Good day to you, sir, on this fine Friday. Back at you. Yeah, Harry Connick Jr., are you a fan? Oh, yeah, I like him. He's he plays all, the piano. All about really New well. Orleans. Yeah, yeah, I like Harry. He's uh, 53 today. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, let's see. Another great singer, Tommy Shaw. Oh, I love sticks. Tommy Shaw. Uh, sticks. Made his bones with sticks. And, of course, went on launched uh, the damn Yankees, yeah. which I'm also a fan of. Sings or, Girls with Guns, one of my favorite songs. Uh, that, that was a solo effort on his Yeah, it was. Part. I loved he it. He grew up in some households. It was the dang Yankees. That's true. <laughs> that is true. With Ted Nugent on lead guitar, by the way. They were kind of oh. fun. Uh, Tommy is 67 today. Wow. The English writer D.H. Lawrence, also born this day, was famous for the scandalous writing and publication of a little thing called Lady Chatterty Chatterley's Lover. Okay. Oh, yeah. It upset high society. Oh, yeah. Well, think of it this way back then. That was probably the equivalent of our Fifty Shades of Grey these oh, wow. days. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. So, yeah, there you go. Huh. Uh, no escaping it. This day, 2001, a lot going on. Kind of terrorists crash planes into yeah. the World Trade yeah. Center. I remember that like it was yesterday. Al-Qaeda terrorists crash plane into the Pentagon, and United Airlines Flight 93 hijacked. Passengers and crew try to retake control. Of course, that plane went down in a field outside yeah. Pennsylvania. Yeah, that is just... It was horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible day. It was. Can you believe that was 19 years ago? I know. It doesn't seem like it, does it? It doesn't. It is still even, really fresh in, in my mind. It just I is. can connect it to that because our daughter, who's now 19, was, a baby. was yeah. an infant at the time. And she doesn't remember that at all. But still, it just seems like it, seems like it was yesterday. It does. Well, there you go. And now you know. And let's just forge ahead because, trust me, things are going to get a lot more fun in just a minute around here. We're excited about that. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris. If you take Viagra or Cialis, call now with your prescription and pay as little as $2 a pill. Call Pharmacy Shop 24-7 to get generic versions of Viagra or Cialis for as little as $2 a pill, plus free discreet shipping. Call 800-214-7977. 800-214-7977. 800-214-7977. Again, that's 800-214-7977. Time now for Ranger Dan's Critter Corner. Well, I'm roof tough and ready. I'm a heck of a man. Eat my beans and weenies from a frying pan. He's Ranger Dan. He's here. I'm Ranger Dan. Well, I love to wrestle bears and lasso ducks, run over possums in my government truck. He's Ranger Dan. He's here. I'm Ranger Dan. Well, I lose all the campers and the animals, too. If you're picking on critters, I'm coming after you. He's Ranger Dan. Yes, sir. I'm Ranger Dan. Good morning, Ranger Dan. Good, Good morning, Ranger Dan. Dan. Well, Friday and you smiley little lubby-dubby faces. Head look at you. I don't really care. Heidi! <laughs> Ranger Dan! Heidi, quick question. Sure. What's a nice girl like you doing in a mine like mine? <laughs> Let's get busy. (laughs) We ain't got all day. We're burning sunlight here, little Radio Rangers. You know, I decided it's been a little while. I'm diving into the old mailbag here, and who knew? I actually have an email address, and there's about 14,000, 15,000 emails in this. (laughs) (laughs) I must have missed a meeting. So let's go with the freshest one as far as I know. I tell you what, this technology just throws me off. <laughs> dear, dear Ranger Dan, love, 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 love Critter Corner. You make learning about Nietzsche, ooh, he is a fan, <laughs> Nietzsche really interesting, fun, and exciting. Now, I heard the other day that you're offering a really great deal on non-resident hunting licenses for the South Dakota yeah. Federal. I believe that was just yesterday. Yeah. Yes, it was. Threw that out there. Listener goes on, I believe you said it'll be just thirty nine ninety five as opposed to the usual South Dakota state issued price of $121. Yeah, mm-hmm. That's a bargain. It is a deal. Now, it is my understanding that the state issued license, which is good from October 10th to sometime late in January, 
isn't just for pheasants, but that's actually a small game license too. Nice. O- opening that hunt up to grouse, partridge, rabbits, gray fox, sandhill cranes, skunks, prairie dogs, squirrels, and marmots. Oh, wow. That heck's a marmot. <laughs> 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 the question, Ranger Dan, is, does the Ranger Dan license cover all of this, or is there additional charges or paperwork involved, and what forms of ID would I need to make this happen? Oh, yeah. Thanks, Ranger Dan. You're a true national treasure. Signed, wow. Big Ernie Lindquist, Larchwood, <laughs> Iowa. Oh, nice. I got to say, Big Ern, those are some great questions. Yeah. That's all the time we have for the <laughs> Radio Rangers. I thought for sure you'd have an add on. I'm spend a little time figuring out what the heck a marmot is. <laughs> and what you can charge to shoot one? Ranger Dan out. Say it with me. Yes, yes sir. sir. Nobody wants to buy car insurance. It's not a fun thing to think about, but it's something you need if you want to drive your car. So even if you don't want to buy insurance, you probably have to get it from someone. So why not buy it from insurancechicken.com? Okay, I'll admit, our website name is dumb. Insurancechicken.com. Yeah, our marketing department is not that great. But our selection of insurance options is amazing. See if we can save you money each month on our dumb website, insurancechicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com. Time now for Water Cooler Talk with Mr. Dan Ferris. It's brought to you by Lukewarm Tap Water. Mmm, tap water. So, Mr. Ferris, what do you have for us today? Well, I'm just ripping off a big chunk of uh, of Jody Schwan here. Oh, from Sioux Falls Business. Little business journal. Yeah, and until she returns my letter jacket, I'm just going to keep using her stuff. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. Okay, then. Now, that's how rumors get started. (laughs) Exactly how. Somebody should start that rumor. Uh, it's just a list of businesses in around the area that are either opening, closing, Comings whatever. And because things are always yeah. shifting, and you really don't know. Unless yeah. maybe you show up at your favorite place, and either they moved, or they're closed, or switched yeah. hours, or what. All these changes. Uh, the market, which I used to spend some time in. It used is, to be the market on Phillips, then they moved. Right, right. Off yeah. Phillips. Yeah, over to uh, East 6th Street. Yep, yep. Pretty cool place. They are shutting her down. Yeah. That's it. Are retiring, actually. And that's, uh, you know what? Laurel I'm and Doug. Them. That's mm-hmm. cool. Uh, Silver Star Car Wash, which apparently is taking over the world. They've got, well, taking over Sioux Falls anyway. Putting up their eighth location. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. <laughs> so we must have a lot of dirty cars in this town. <laughs> 57. But you know what? They always seem to be busy. They are. Yeah, they do. Which Good is ones. insane. Yeah. I know some uh, family, they got their family photos taken at a Silver Star Car Wash. <laughs> that would have been YouTube maniacs. <laughs> it was, actually. <laughs> great photos, though. It's cool. They really were great photos. Mm-hmm. I like the part where John goes, can I get my undercarriage done? <laughs> <laughs> Things got awkward real fast. <laughs> New Silverstone uh, will be at 57th and Greystone, for those of you who uh, keep a track. should open in December, as a matter of fact. Oh. Uh, what else Does is going on? it seem like a weird time to open a car wash, December? Are you kidding? No. Oh, with all the sand and no. salt on the roads and muck. Uh, oh, and thank goodness, because it's been about a year. Remember the, the tornado? Oh, yeah. Remember? In yeah. fact, we got one, in- one, two, three of them, wasn't it? Yeah, they yeah. rolled through them. Three of them touched down <clears throat> and really, really did a number over on Plaza 41, yeah. 41st and Qantas. Joanne Fabrics uh, just reopened. I heard oh, that. Oh, good. Yeah. So, good. Go. so I'll be able to get back to my crafting, so I'm pretty excited. Oh, that's good. Something about Starbucks, don't care. Something Does it say when Tuesday morning is coming uh, back? Uh, Spazia's, and this really surprised Shocked everybody. Great restaurant. Uh, they, like a lot of people, they closed temporarily Yeah, because of what's going on, and now it looks uh, that's going to be permanent. So. Yeah, that's heartbreaking. Fanta Spazia's, oh, well. Yeah. Uh, this thing is going to be, be, I'm actually looking forward to, to tripping on in there. Uh, if you've been noticing up on Kiwanis, Thunder Road. Oh, yeah, yeah, the new... 28,000 square foot indoor entertainment center. Yeah, it's wow. a big building. Has opened. Yeah, and they say that not everything is quite open yet, but most things are. So you can get in there and kind of check it out. And I love this. Uh, all kinds of stuff for the kids. Well, for the whole family. Hyper bowling. Not sure what that is, but it sounds right up my alley. Get up my <laughs> <stuff>. <laughs> uh, wow. Laser tag, arcade games, a restaurant in there as well. Uh, still to come bumper cars and a uh, and a theater. Oh, wow. And also, because you're bringing wow. the youngsters, 
axe throwing. Oh. <laughs> yeah, because that's fitting. What could possibly? That's, but you know what? That's so popular now. Maybe they'll I don't be nerf get, axes. I just don't get that. The axe but, throwing thing? Yeah. It must be popular because this will make, what, the third venue have in town Have you ever that? thrown an axe, though? No, but I have no desire. Because the second you do it, you're like, I want to do that again, and I want to pay <laughs> someone to do it. I, know, I it suppose works. it's fun. I mean, as a kid, I did till I was told to stop. <laughs> like, well, Joey's got a perfectly good left arm. Yeah, right. he's fine. <laughs> Whatever. So that's just some uh, some of what's going on in town. That's so. really cool. I appreciate that update, and thank you for ripping that off from Jody. I'm sure she won't mind at all. Jody, <laughs> give me my jacket. Can't keep the leather jacket free. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure. It smells oh. like my cologne. And I, <laughs> <laughs> whatever. It's time to move on, Joe. Somebody should really ask her all about that because uh, she was completely clueless. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris. The old way of living with diabetes is a pain. The new way is with a continuous glucose monitor. You simply apply a discreet, easy-to-use sensor on your body. If you test your blood sugar at least four times per day and inject insulin at least three times per day or use an insulin pump and have private insurance or Medicare, you might be eligible for a CGM with little or no cost to you. Call now and say goodbye to finger pricks. 800 659 Five. That's 800-659-7805. Time now for your Bright Spot of News, brought to you by Paul's Designer Showroom on Lake Lorraine in Sioux Falls. Our Bright Spot shines once again today on the Health Connect Fair. It's sneaking up just a little over a week away. It's on the 19th of September. It's a Saturday, and I'd love for you to make plans to come and join us. And if you get there, you're going to get to meet all kinds of cool people. One of those people might be Kelly Peterson from the Minnehaha County Family Violence Council. Kelly, how are you? I am great, thank you. Now, you guys, have you been a part of this event in the past, or is this the first time you've been a part of this? This is the first time we've had the opportunity to be involved in this. And you're going to be a part of the human race as well, so people that want to come out early that day and be a part of the human race, when they're running, if they don't have a nonprofit that they've already signed up for, they could sign up and have it so their funds go towards you, couldn't they? Absolutely, that would be wonderful. Now, what do you do at the Minnehaha County Family Violence Council? We are a group of local agencies that include domestic violence shelters, advocacy centers, law enforcement, prosecutors, and other professionals in the community. And our goal is to bring awareness to the prevalence of domestic violence in the community and to make people aware of what resources are available in our community to get them the help they need. And it would be wonderful if there was no need for this whatsoever, but sadly, there is absolutely a need for this, and thank goodness you guys are there to fill that need. Yes, there is much more of a need than we wish there were. We would like to work ourselves out of business, but that probably isn't going to happen in our world today, so we just want to make sure that we have all the resources we possibly can help have to help victims as they need it. So for somebody listening that might actually need some help like this, how do they get a hold of you? What does that process look like? They can call a number of different resources. They can call the help, Helpline Center at 211. They can contact the Children's Inn directly. Or if they're in a situation where they're in danger, they need immediate help, they always should call 911 and get law enforcement involved in order to help. And again, like I said, it'd be wonderful if there was not a need for this, but I know that there absolutely is. So thank you, thank you, thank you for doing what you do to make sure that you're there to help people that are in need. Thank you for helping us bring awareness to this. This is a much needed service that we have in Sioux Falls and the surrounding communities. And if you would like to contribute, ladies and gentlemen, come out a little early before the Health Connect Fair. We have an event called the Human Race, and this is the first time we've done the Human Race. But when you're signing up and you're registering to run, you get to choose which nonprofit in the Sioux Empire gets your registration fee because you're making a donation to a nonprofit to be a part of this event. And when you make that donation, it gets to go to whichever one you choose. And Minnehaha County Family Violence Council is one of the organizations that you can choose. And again, it's it's a great a great group that does wonderful, wonderful things. So again, if you'd like, you can sign up and, and help contribute. Do you guys, when, when you get funds that come in, do you typically have enough to do what you need or are you always kind of looking or how does that look? We're always of course looking for additional funds. We'd like to be able to expand some of the services that we offer. Primarily we do one event per year and that is called Take Back the Night. This year in our current situation with COVID we're unable to do that but we will be doing a social media push throughout the month of October which is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. So you'll be able to see on our Facebook page different videos of 
various people in the community, including survivors, that are going to be giving some information from their own perspectives about domestic violence and what their experiences are and also what the resources are that are available to help. Well, Kelly, thank you for all that you guys are doing. And again, this is a, a much needed thing and it'd be wonderful if it wasn't needed, but it absolutely is. So thank you for being there to, to fill that and, and, and take care of the, the folks that do need a, assistance with that. Thank you so very much. Again, Minnehaha County Family Violence Council is one of the many organizations that you can uh, learn more about when you come to the Health Connect Fair. It's next weekend, September 19th. It starts at 11 a.m., gets done at 5 p.m., and if you come out early and be a part of the human race, the, the human race is, again, it's a separate event, but they're connected because they're, it's the same organization, Health Connect, doing both. And you can find information about both at healthconnectsd.org. The Health Connect Fair is uh, the same day, like I said, September 19th. It's free for all ages, free lunch, free door prizes, free flu shots for folks that qualify for that. All of the information on both of these events can be found right now at healthconnectsd.org. If you take Viagra or Cialis, call now with your prescription and pay as little as $2 a pill. Call Pharmacy Shop 24-7 to get generic versions of Viagra or Cialis for as little as $2 a pill, plus free discreet shipping. Call 800-214-7977. 800-214-7977. 800-214-7977. Again, that's 800-214-7977. Time now for a little entertainment news of the day with Mr. Dan Ferris. (laughs) 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 Fabulous! (laughs) Why do we do this? (laughs) I I don't just dawned on us. This is a terrible uh, idea. Okay, so, so Ellen DeGeneres, who's been oh, taken yeah. out behind the barn. And, oh, yeah. And is she, bang. Is she still going to show or she get it's, fired it's going back into production. Oh. oh. Wow. Season 18, I believe it is. So oh, no. that's been going on a long time. Yeah. Can you imagine it, being on the set on that show this season? It'll be interesting to see what the ratings do well, after all the bad publicity. Well, three producers got bounced. Uh, several employees walked, whatever, yeah. whatever. Now there's reports from... Over the years, of course, you know, she's a very <clears throat> wealthy woman yeah. in a very large estate that she lives in while she has, you know, domestic help. And now there's a number of past uh, people who actually work the old DeGeneres homestead there that have come out going, you know what? She's horrible. The Ellen Yikes. compound is not kind. Yeah, apparently, but it's things like, you know, she's always very judgmental and just the tone of her voice and blah, 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 blah. But I mean... You know, I have domestic help, as you guys know. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And if you don't, you know, if you don't keep a handle on them, uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> and you don't want them getting too, uh, you know, too comfy. <laughs> so, it's <laughs> trying to see where you're going with this. Next thing you know, they're borrowing your clothes. <laughs> 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 Just take advantage of you. Is so. that what happens? <laughs> yeah. Boy, if I had a dime. <laughs> 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 I had to call one of my minions on the carpet, so, you know, uh, <laughs> let's not be piling on Ellen here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Have a heart, everyone. But she says when when uh, when the first show airs, oh, yeah. it will be without a studio audience. But she's, And without an at-home audience. <laughs> yeah, well, she's going to address all these things. She's actually going to discuss all these things. Oh, she's mm-hmm. going to air this. Apparently, yeah. Clear the I air. Don't, I don't know why I don't, uh, but whatever. So. She's probably been working on herself. Anybody want to wager whether or not she says those words? I've been working on myself. It would be hard to Because that's the thing you do nowadays. But when again, they find out you're a terrible, awful human being and you treat people like dirt, the first thing you got to do is say, I've taken some time and I've been working on mm-hmm. myself. I'm evolving. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm evolving. I don't know. Whatever. Again, I don't have a dog in this fight. I just know, you know, when I get uh, home today, I'm going to call the staff together and see what they've been up to. Yeah. It's a good idea. What? <clears throat> Check their bags before they leave the house. And... Mm-hmm. <laughs> Every lineup, I got to frisk you before frisk you go. You know how it goes. <laughs> it's a regular Friday thing. Yeah, that looks like my change in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I had quarters once. <laughs> Hey, speaking of quarters, uh, we want to make sure we let folks know. Where do we have it? Oh, hey, it's right over right here. Right there. Whoa. That's, that's a major award. Right there is the sound of 
eleven. Eleven dollars and change. <laughs> change. It's a free change, my friend. It is. Uh, <laughs> and, and if you would like to join us for the change your life sweepstakes, <laughs> I, I am just still every single day. I'm a little more baffled At by the, the number, number of people, people who are signed up for the eleven dollars. <laughs> It's really cool. And I love I, it. I absolutely love I wanna it. I want to make sure we take a moment right now to say thank you for to people who are doing this because they understand our sense of humor. Yeah. And you we're know, even they, getting messages oh, yeah. now. I'm feeling really good about this. I'm really good about this. Huh? <laughs> and they're making making plans. Uh, and here's what I would like to do. I'd like to find out if we have a financial advisor in the audience that listens to the show. This is actually very important. If you are a financial advisor who helps people, you know, by advising them financially, or even life coaching skills. Yeah, just somebody that when somebody wins this, this wins change their life. You know, we want to make sure they don't make terrible decisions <laughs> spend it all on beef jerky. This, this country is rife with horror stories about people yes. who got a windfall and it destroyed their lives. Yeah, yeah we don't, we want, don't that. want that. No, we want listeners. this to be a positive. We want it thing. to be a blessing. Absolutely. So, <laughs> if we happen to have a real, uh, what was it called again? Financial advisor. Yeah. Who, who happens to be listening to the program, we would like to uh, see if we can retain your services. Of course, uh, we're not going to pay you for that because, well... <laughs> we kind of busted the bank with that a lot Because all bucks. the money is in the jar, we're, so... We're giving it up. But we, we think we might be able to set you up with a new client. So if you want to reach out to us here at Sunny Radio, <laughs> john at sunnyradio.com is my email. You can go through our Facebook page, facebook.com slash sunnyradio. But I, I'm 100% serious. We would like to find a financial advisor... To join us for dropping off this Absolutely, because we want to make sure that when we when we help somebody, it's one week from today is when we're going to announce the winner of this. So we help somebody become $11 richer. We want to make sure that uh, that we, we set them up. Yeah, I wouldn't leave that laying around, by the I'm way. I'm going to actually put it back in the vault because that's go. sitting out. Dan, thanks for coming in, man. Absolutely. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. It is the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris, brought to you by Lukewarm Tap Water. Mmm, tap, tap water. water. If you have a credit card, our friends at BetterCreditCards.com would like to make sure it's the best credit card for you. Take a few minutes to look at your current interest rate and then see what you get for points and perks. Then go to BetterCreditCards.com to see if they can help you find a better credit card. This will literally cost you nothing and it could help you save money by getting a better credit card. Even if you don't have a credit card right now, you can check it out, too, at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Here's your Market Beat Minute for Friday, September 11th, 2020. The tech-led market correction extended its losses on Thursday, with all three major indices shedding more than 1.25% by the end of the session. The move was sparked by another impasse in Washington and is the fourth day of selling out of the last five. On Capitol Hill, Senate Republicans tried to move on a one-sided stimulus bill that barely made it out of the idea phase. In a technical sense, Thursday's selling confirms resistance to higher prices and points to deeper corrections to come. The question now is, how deep? And the answer could be shocking. The minimum investors might expect to see is another 3% drop for a total decline of 10% for the S&P 500. In the worst case, there is a chance for up to 20% or more of losses over the next few weeks. Next week is a data-heavy week, so traders and investors should expect market volatility. You can get the latest news from Wall Street's brightest minds in your inbox daily at marketbeatminute.com.